y'all, Bridget Bartlett here. I'm the local business marketing training and support specialist with Builderall. In the last video, I created the pages we're going to need in our upsell and downsell sales funnel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of creating an email list and connecting it to our funnel. To get started, we need to first get access to our email autoresponder mailing boss. We can do that by simply clicking here to enter the app. Once inside, the first thing we need to do is create a new workflow. So we can do that here. So let's call our new workflow Sales Funnel, and we'll go ahead and click Continue. Let's go ahead and save our new workflow. And the first thing we want to do, click here on List and go ahead and drag it to our workflow canvas. To create our list, we can click here to edit. And we could choose from another list that we have in our email autoresponder, or we can click here to create a new list. So let's go ahead and create a new list now. Let's give our new list a name. We'll just call it Upsell Downsell Funnel. And we'll copy this and we'll add this in the display and the details. Here we can choose a single or a double opt in. A single opt in is when they enter their email address and they immediately go to the offer. A double opt-in is when they enter their email address, they go to an email confirmation page that gives them instructions to go check their email and click on the link in the email to confirm that their email is valid. This is very, very important. To have a high quality list, you need to choose a double opt-in. I know that a lot of people will say single opt-in is better, but if someone enters a fake email address into your field, then it goes to your list. And if your email autoresponder keeps getting fake emails and sending them, it damages the reputation of your email address. So it's very, very important to always choose a double opt-in. So let's go ahead and we'll keep this double opt-in and we'll click create. So now that we've created our list, let's go ahead and edit our list by clicking update list. Now you'll see we have the name and display name and description just like we entered already. If you click advanced here, you can choose again, double opt-in. So we have these options here. You can choose to send a welcome email, but I actually prefer to leave this as no because the first email in our sequence is going to be our welcome email. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this no. You can add a link to redirect if the subscriber is not found or if they already exist, but there's a better way of doing that. And we'll go into that later on in the video. If you want to require approval of your subscriber, you could choose yes here, but I just prefer to leave this as no. You can change the display name that you want your email to be from. You can choose from your list of verified emails here, but if you don't have a verified email, you can go ahead and choose the mailing boss email that it defaults to. You can select which email you want it to reply to. I did a training earlier on a hair salon. That's why it defaulted to my reply to email. You can change the subject of your emails. You could create tags with list field values here, and that's a more advanced feature we'll go into later in the course. And then you can also send data to the CRM, which I definitely recommend because Builderall has a CRM integrated simply by clicking yes. So let's go ahead and save here. You also have the option to receive notifications. So if you want to receive a notification every time someone subscribes, you can click yes here and then enter the email that you want the notification sent to. You can do the same when they unsubscribe or when they confirm your email. Under subscriber actions, when they subscribe, if you want them to unsubscribe from any other list, you could choose that here. Or when they unsubscribe, if you want them to unsubscribe from any of these other lists, you could choose that here. Your company details are going to be the default details that are up in your profile here. So if you are an agency and you have multiple companies that you're doing email marketing for, you could change the company details specifically here in this email list. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and keep this as the default and let's go up here to subscribers. Here you'll have a list of all of the subscribers that you have in your list. Here you will have the segments of your list that you have created and here, you can select the fields that you want in your email marketing form. So we need to have a name because right now the default is simply the email. So we want to add the name so we can do that here by clicking add text field. 
and let's go ahead and just keep it first name and then we will change the tag to F name. F name in capital letters is the tag for first name. We do want to make this required, so we'll go ahead and click yes. And we want it to be visible in the form, so we'll keep that as yes or visible. And then let's go ahead and make this the first field in the form. So it'll be first name first and then the field for the email. So let's go ahead and change this to two. And then we can save our changes. You can also add a date and time field, a phone prefix drop down if you are wanting to capture the phone number. You can also add a drop down field, a text area field, a phone number field, a multi select field, checkbox field, a date field, and a radio field. For now, we're just going to keep this as the field that we need for the first name and email. And let's go ahead and move to pages. Now, here in the pages, there are a couple things that we need to change to make sure that it's connected to our funnel. Right now, we have some default pages and emails that will go out if we get a new subscriber. But we want to customize this because we want to keep our brand and the whole process congruent, okay? So the first thing we want to do is change the subscription confirmed page to be the, our front end sales page. So let's go back to our sales funnel. We're gonna enter the Cheetah Builder. Let's find our sales funnel. And let's go ahead and edit. And let's publish this so that we can get a published link to attach to our form. So we'll click close now. And we need the front end sales page link. So the URL to this specific page. So let's go ahead and go to website page. And now we have our front end sales page URL. So let's go back to our mailing boss and click on subscription confirmed. Currently, this would be the page that they go to when they confirm their email, but you can see this is definitely not attractive and not congruent with our brand. In addition, this does not give them the offer that we're giving in our lead magnet. So what we wanna do is click down here where it says advanced, and you can see it says, instead of the above message, redirect the subscriber to the following URL. So let's go ahead and paste the URL to our front end sales page here, and we'll just click Save and Next. Let's go back to Pages. Now here it says Update Profile. Right now, if they have already confirmed their email, but they want to go back to that front end sales page, right now it would go to Update Your Profile page, which is this ugly page here. So what we wanna do is actually change this to go to our front end sales page again, because we wanna give them the opportunity to still go to our front end offer, even if they've already subscribed. So let's just go ahead and we'll click Control V to paste, and then save next. Now they will be redirected to our front end sales page instead of this page here. So let's go back to our pages section, and we want to change the subscription confirmed email. So let's go ahead and click here, and you can see right now it says, please click here in order to confirm your subscription on the list. And then it gives the list name, but our list name is upsell, downsell, funnel. So let's go ahead and change this by double clicking in the box. And let's just completely delete this here. And we'll say, please click here to receive your special offer. Now you never wanna change this because this is the auto tag that's going to send them to the subscribe URL. So this is what's going to tell Mailing Boss that they have subscribed. You can add anything you want to in the thank you. So if you wanted to add your name, you could do that here. You could also do a lot of other customizations here if you prefer. And then the company name field, this is the auto tag for the company name that we discussed already how to change. And any of that information, whatever the company name is in that section is going to show up here in this auto tag. So let's go ahead and click Save Next. So now that we have our email list created and connected to our sales funnel, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create and connect the membership areas so we can make sure to restrict access to our upsell and downsell items. Until then, go build it with BuilderAll.